20 years of high school sports in the BCSN era. Three decades of Otto Hills basketball under head coach John Lindsay. The Green Bears general sat down with Mason Lowry to discuss his career and the program. Well, John, you've had just staggering success at Ottawa Hills over the years. Over 400 wins now in a long and distinguished coaching career. After all the games that you've won and all the players you've coached, what keeps you coming back year after year? What are you still getting out of it? Well, I'll, I'll tell you to start with, uh, it's, it's community. Uh, the village of Ottawa Hills is just an outstanding place. Uh, I know we're known for the schools, uh, but our athletics are, are pretty impressive if you look at the, the full body oh, of, yeah. of our athletic program. Uh, but the community, I moved into the community years ago because uh, I loved the academic priority and, and, and the commitment the coaches had and the teachers had to the uh, student, student athletes. And so for sure it starts there. And then uh, we really have terrific, we're able to work with terrific young men who, uh, who make a commitment and are, are very dedicated. You've had so many good teams and so many great players and teams that I, I know I look back on really fondly. Have you had any favorite groups of young men, not necessarily the teams that won the most, but the teams that you look back on and you think, I really, really enjoyed coaching those guys. Yeah, for sure. And uh, there's been quite a few. Obviously, the successful uh, teams, the Sweet 16s or the Elite 8s or the Final Four teams, uh, you appreciate the, the work that they put in and the commitment, the extra commitment that they made. Um, and we had some trem tremendous leaders uh, on those teams. Uh, but certainly, uh, we've had some others that weren't uh, necessarily quite as successful, but uh, I always measure it by the leadership that we had on the team. I've been blessed with some really uh, spectacular leaders who take that uh, responsibility um, and, and do a nice job. I, I say this every year, and I feel like it becomes more and more true every year because the standard keeps getting better. TAC boys basketball is as good and as competitive as it gets. How have you seen that standard kind of grow over time? Yeah, for sure, uh, for sure. In fact, you know, I shared with someone recently that we had to be one of the best uh, leagues in, in the state of Ohio. And I certainly, Undoubtedly. I certainly know in this area, you know, we were probably the only league that had, I think, uh, if I'm correct with this, two first-team All-State players, a second-team All-State player, and a third-team All-State player. So. Uh, it's a very talented uh, league, and, and it has some terrific coaches in it. Yourself included, of course. Uh -huh. So many great coaches that have come out of the TAC. Um, one of the things I so admire about what we do at BCSN, not to toot our horn, but beep, beep. Uh, <laughs> we give small schools a ton of exposure and a ton of credit. Schools like Ottawa Hills and the other schools in your league. What good has BCSN done for you guys? Well, I would first say that when, when they started it, they built a heck of a foundation with, with the people. You know, guys like Tom Cole, uh, the integrity of BCSN has been uh, so impressive. And then they continue, you know, a guy that's pure class, Deion Thompson. Mm -hmm. um, and I remember in the early years, uh, Rick Poland uh, and Greg Frankie, just so many great people. So that foundation of character, I think, is, is, is why you guys have lasted, in my opinion. Um, and then you've always made it about community and the athletes. And we're just grateful. And it's really special for the kids to experience what you guys do. And you've maintained that commitment to community and to the athletes.